Hey class, I want to congratulate you guys on your summer school projects with the paper airplanes. I understand that you had a heck of a lot of fun. This is my airplane. This is 771 Mike Kilo MK and my friend Mike Cody built it. And I understand you guys watched a few of my videos and that's, that's awesome. You also sent in some questions, so I'm going to take a few minutes and see if I can't get through some of the questions that uh, you sent in. So let me jump right into it. Will, you asked a question, can I do a flip? The answer is yes. This airplane is what's known as an acrobatic airplane. It's built that way and it's a special certification where it can handle the G-forces for doing a flip. So absolutely it can do a flip. Next question, Miss Duncan, what is the farthest you can fly in your airplane? That's a good question. In aviation, we don't do go by miles, we go by how much fuel do you have. So on my airplane, I can hold 42 gallons of fuel. There's 21 gallons in each tank. My airplane burns 10 gallons per hour. So class, if I can hold 42 gallons and it burns 10 gallons per hour, how long can I fly? The answer is four hours and 20 minutes. I did a little math there. My plane flies 170 miles an hour. So in four hours at 170 miles an hour, how far can I fly? 680 miles on 42 gallons of fuel. Thank you for the question, Ms. Duncan. Will again, have I, owned, have I ever flown anywhere special in my plane? Absolutely. On one of my trips from Illinois to Texas, I stopped at a place called Hot Springs, Arkansas. And there were lakes all over around the airport and it was really, really special. So, so far, Hot Springs, Arkansas is my favorite place I've flown. Uh, Karen, how did it feel when I got my pilot's license? I tell you what, it was rewarding. It was exciting. I worked really, really hard to get it. It wasn't easy, but I think that's the greatest things in life. When you have to work real hard to get them, when you get them, it's very, very special. Oh, Mrs. Herrera, what was the most challenging part of learning to fly an airplane? Hands down, landing. Every landing's different because of the wind and the speeds. Landing is the most challenging part of flying an airplane. Hands down, still to today. All right, Nico, how do planes get off the ground? Nico, I thought a lot about this, and the best example I can give you is if you're going down the road in your car, stick your hand out the window like this, and let the wind brush over it. If you tilt that up a little bit further on your hand, your arm goes up in the air. It's because of the wind comes at the bottom and pushes your hand up. And I think you guys studied Bernoulli's principle, so that's the best way I can explain. When I get going down the runway, the speed picks up, and pretty soon it just takes off. Uh, Erza, what inspired me to work on airplanes? Well, I think some of the air shows I went to and then started talking to people that had planes like this and I found out they built them themselves and that was really, really exciting to me. So I think it's the people I keep company with, the other pilots and getting on the internet uh, just got me ex excited to do it. Will has another question. What was the first plane you worked on? Will, you're looking at it. One Mike Kilo. After I bought it, there was plenty more work to do, and I think I filmed a few videos um, of me working on this airplane. You can check them out on my YouTube channel. Andrew, can I fly to Hawaii? Andrew, I'm glad we answered the question first about fuel mileage. I can hold 42 gallons of fuel, and I can fly for four hours, and then I have to stop. I looked at the map from San Diego to Honolulu, Hawaii is 2,270 miles, which in this airplane is about 14 hours over the ocean. So seeing as I gotta stop every four hours for fuel, I cannot travel 14 hours over the ocean. So the answer is no. I gotta fly one of them big ones to get to Hawaii. Uh, Erza. What are the challenges and dangers or the scariest thing I've had to do flying an airplane? Um, I think the challenges is probably wind. 
Uh, wind is always different. Wind is always a challenge when you're coming down to land. The scariest thing, uh, one time I ran out of fuel in one of my tanks. And I just had to switch the tanks because I have right and left, but when the engine quit running, when I, I ran out of fuel in that tank, uh, it made me really scared. 